this is the last time I'm gonna <laughs> say this. Okay, <laughs> well, lectures. Um, I guess it's only fitting that I perform the first poem that I ever per performed for LTAP. Uh, my name is Tiana, I'm a senior at Lincoln High. <laughs> and it's been a while. Society declares that racism is no longer an issue. No one has died in a while. Somebody dies, society asks, why do we always have to make things about race? A high school friend told me, Tiana, don't be the girl who cried racism. It's been a while. Racism is an entity that gets a slap on the wrist as it continues to devour souls from as young as one day old. It's been said that race-based violence no longer plagues us because it's been a while. Since 1916, when Jesse Washington, age 17, was falsely charged, bruised with crimson bricks, crimson like red fire that reached up and burned his eyes with smoke and flame. Jesse was a teenager. Jesse was a souvenir collection of charred clothing and chopped off body parts. Jesse was murdered 99 years ago. It's been a while. Since 1955, when Mamie Till had to bury her baby, boy, 1955, when Emmett was stuck in the crossfire between horrific due process and Southern Fried justified Jim Crow homicide, Emmett, who laughed, Emmett, who loved his mama more than he loved playground games and sunshine, take discrimination to his innocent child eyes and beat him, punish the murderers with a profitable publicized confession, the Fifth Amendment never looked so discriminatory. For kids of color, for people like me, chains like snakes sneak up when we claim that racism is over. 59 years ago, kids of color had to stay in their place. Now it's 2015 and it's been a while since 1998 when James Byrd Jr. was drugged to his death along a two mile stretch of country road. James was chained to the back of a truck where he could only see taillights and the blood that once flowed through the veins of his freedom fighters. His civil rights warriors fought so hard to keep him from this. James swung across the road as if the perpetrators were trying to hypnotize the public into thinking that white supremacy was something to be enchanted by. 15 years ago, it's been a while. Go back to 2008 and tell Brittany Williams, a girl shot in an Omaha drive through it's been a while. Go back to 2011 and tell James Anderson, a man run over by Mississippi teens, it's been a while. And tell me, when will the number of years become so insignificant that we can be enraged and terrified by such hatred? It's true that no one has to die to be set on the path to genocide. So I hope you have fun at your MLK party, hashtag thug life, drinking privilege out of watermelon cups on the streets of segregated suburbs where your five-year-olds aren't shot in drive-bys. Why do we put blood-covered riot shields over our eyes? This is not a question. I am commanding that you tell me why we choose ignorance over progress. It has not been a while since someone has died. So tell society that racism isn't over. Racism isn't over. Racism is not over. Do not let society tell you that racism is no longer an issue. And do not let society tell you it's been a while. All right. <laughs>